Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010, User Guide Lesson 13, Symbols. In this video, I'll be covering the Symbol dialog box and Symbol autocorrect and shortcuts. Okay, so today we're going to talk about symbols. Now, Word 2010 already has many symbols programmed into it. And to see these symbols, you're going to go first to the Insert tab and come over to Symbol, and you'll see a list of commonly used symbols. And if you come down to More Symbols, this will pull up your Symbol dialog box. Okay, so now you see the Symbol dialog box, and you see a wide variety of symbols that you can use. So there are a couple ways you can search through the symbols pretty easily. The first one is if you know the symbol's character code. You can come down here and choose from a Unicode hex, an AS CII decimal or an ASCII hex. And so select whichever one you need and then you can come right over here and type in the character number that you're looking for. And you see that it will highlight it right there for you. Another convenient thing that you'll want to take note of is the recently used symbols. So if you've used a symbol recently, it'll show up here and so you can find it again quite easily. And another thing to note is that you can change the font of your symbol. So if you know that a certain font has a symbol that you're looking for, you can come over here and change the font, and that'll change all your symbol options. And one font that has a lot of symbols um, would obviously be Wingdings. So you'll want to explore the fonts for whichever symbol you needs you have. So once you've found a symbol that you like, all you need to do is select it and click the Insert button and you'll see that it puts it into your document. And another area that we want to pay close attention to is the Special Characters tab. So if you click this, you'll notice that it brings up some special character options. One of them would be your M dash. This is also where you'll find your copyright and trademark symbols. And your special characters function the same way as your symbols in that if you highlight it and click the Insert button, it'll insert it right into your document. Another benefit of this area is you'll notice that it has some shortcut terms for you. So if you know that you use the copyright symbol a lot, you might want to, instead of always coming up to your symbol dialog box, just enter the shortcut. So this would be where you just hold down alt Control c and you see it'll insert it just as it did when you were clicking from your dialog box. So the next thing you're going to want to know is autocorrect. Now, autocorrect already has some pre-entered common um, corrections for you. So you'll see that um, parentheses around the C is what people typically use for the copyright symbol, etc. Um, but what's great is you can also create your own autocorrect. Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to create an autocorrect for this moon with a star symbol. What you're going to do is select the symbol come down to autocorrect and you're going to type whatever text you want to automatically be corrected to the symbol. So for this case I'm going to do parentheses star. And then you just click add and OK. And then you can come into your document and type parentheses star. And you see it'll automatically be changed into your symbol. And another tool that's similar to the autocorrect is the shortcut key. So you're going to do the same. This will just allow you to create a combination of keystrokes to add a shortcut for a certain symbol. So what you're going to want to do is highlight a symbol, click the shortcut key, and decide what you would like your keystrokes to be. So for me, I'm just going to do Control Alt V, and I'm going to click the assign button and close. And then when you come over to your document and click Control alt v you'll notice that it just automatically inserts the symbol to your document. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 13 Symbols. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com.